Hey guys, Alicia here. I know that I said that I was going to start making videos again and I keep saying that, but one of the challenges that you run into as a YouTuber or you can almost say an entrepreneur is that sometimes things change. And one of the things, although I love iPicky and I'm still going to continue to do iPicky videos, I wanted to expand into something different. So I really want to start using Canva. It was between PicMonkey and Canva and I did a lot of research between the two and I really like a lot more of the features that Canva offers as opposed to um, PicMonkey. So once again, I am still going to be making iPicky videos but today's video is going to be using Canva and it's going to be showing you how to create that outer glow around your silhouette in a photo. So let me get started and is what I'm going to create is a YouTube thumbnail for this video. So I'm going to click on um, basically a custom size here. So the size of a YouTube thumbnail, you can tell I've already used it, is 1280 by 720. So I'm going to click to create my new design. Once I do this, I want to get a uh, background color for this. And so now I'm going to choose a background. And I'm just going to, although you can choose so many of these gradients, abstract, textures, you know, things like that. For this particular video, I want to use just a solid black background because I really want this to stand out a little bit more. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add a photo of, of me just so I can show you how this is done. So I'm clicking here on my uploads and this has like all the images I've uploaded before using Canva. You can tell it's been a while since around Christmas time that I've used Canva. So I'm just going to click to add this picture. Now you can use the free version of Canva. However, I did go ahead and invest in the pro and it's $12 and 99 cents per month. And you know that with me, I have always focused on free or low cost programs. So I decided to go with this one because it was about the same price as PicMonkey, but I really like the features here. Okay, so one of the features that I absolutely love about this particular photo or this particular um, site, Canva, is the fact that we have the ability to remove a background right here. Now, if you don't want to use Pro, you can go to a program called Remove Background, or you can go to my playlist, and I have several videos and several different ways on how you can remove a background. But with, here, with this, all you have to do is, if this picture is highlighted, you just click on Edit Image, and you're going to click on remove the background and it is going to take out the background for you and you have to click apply. The next thing we're going to do is we need to duplicate this this particular image right here. So to do that I'm going to move this up just a little bit just so that it shows up right here and when I click duplicate it is going to duplicate this image and I'm going to pull one over here to the side. Okay, so on this, I am now going to move this all the way down into the bottom right hand corner, which is where I want this to be. And one thing I do love about Canva is everything seems to just snap in place. Okay, so the other thing that we are going to do with this photo to the left is we're going to make it just a little bit smaller. And if we pull this over here, 
we can see that it is a little bit smaller and we can make it even just a little bit smaller just so we get that full effect. So you can make your, your outer glow as big or small as you want to. Okay, so you always want to make sure that the picture you're working with is the one that you are using. Okay, so we're going to click on Edit Image. And one of the features that I like, sometimes you have to search for it if you're new, is it's this feature called Duotone. Okay, so I'm actually going to select, um, I am going to select the lavender. Okay. So the next thing that I am going to do is I still need to continue editing uh, my image. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down and we are going to, where it says adjust, I'm going to add some more brightness because I really want that outer glow. Okay, and I'm going to add a little bit of saturation to it or maybe take out a little bit of the saturation, just a little bit. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. As far as the tint, you can sort of mess around with the tint of this if you would like, if you're really trying to get more of that color. The next thing we want to do is we want to blur this image. You don't want to blur it completely, but you want to get enough blur to where you really can't make out what it, or just a little bit of what you are. So now I'm going to take this photo and I'm going to first try pulling it over and seeing if I get that outer glow that I am looking for. And as you can tell, I am getting that outer glow around. However, I do want it to be just a little bit bigger. So I am going to make myself, you kind of have to play around with this until you get it exactly how you would like it to be. And one thing I don't want is anything cut off down here at the bottom. Okay. So I am going to just do a little bit bigger and then I'm going to drag this back down and over here. And I'm going to go back to this picture and just make it maybe a tad bit smaller. This one, you just have to play around with it until you get, you get it just how you like it. Okay. So I really think I'm liking this, and as you can see, this gives me this nice outer glow. Okay, and that's how you do that. The rest of it is going to be mainly for where I'm going to be adding my text and things like that. So if you want to stick around while you watch me finish making the rest of the YouTube thumbnail. Another thing I wanted to mention real quick about Canva and what I like is that you do have some commercial use when you do have the uh, pro version, which you can, you do get a free trial. They give you a free trial and then it's only $12.99 per month. And I feel like it's totally worth it because I'm going to be doing some more videos on how to get neon text and things like that. So anyway, I'm going to, um, just add some text and basically it doesn't really matter here. You can add a heading and I'm going to drag this over here and I'm also going to change my font here as well. So this is just how to add an outer 
glow. Okay, so how to add an outer glow. Let me go ahead and fix this a little bit. Okay, so once I change the font, which Canva has a lot of different fonts that you can use, and I'm just going to pick something sort of basic. And I think that whenever I, I pick a font, I think I may even just create um, something to the effect, or I may make the text glow. So let me pick a basic font. I don't want anything to um, okay so I've done this and I'm now going to make this just a little bit bigger and if you come up here you can kind of move this around how you would like it okay I want to change the color of this so let me go to the text color and we're going to go to the color spectrum wheel here so let me pick something i think i want something in the pink pink and purple I'm feeling pink and purple today i keep forgetting with canva that you have to actually highlight all of your text to get that color And I love that too because Canva will automatically save the color that you used right up here so you don't have to go back and try to find it. Okay, so now I am going to highlight this. And I'm going to click on Effects. Well, right here, Canva already gives you a neon and then there we go we have a neon we have neon text and there's so many things you can do with this i still don't think i like the position of this so i am going to move this just a little bit more Okay, so I think that I'm really liking this. So I hope this video was helpful to you. Keep in mind that I'm new to Canva, so I'm still learning a lot of things, but I'm so excited about all the things that I'm going to create because I have looked at a lot of things and I can pretty much replicate almost anything. I do see one thing here I want to fix. I have all these letters capitalized, so I'm going to capitalize these two letters. And there we go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to my channel. I am approaching 29,000 subscribers and I appreciate all of you who support my channel. Thank you so much and have a great day.